is an heavyweight contest to be wrestled over six five-minute rounds and two falls, two submissions or a knockout will decide the winner. From Birmingham, ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome please, Big Pat Roach. On my right, in the blue corner, a wrestler who represents Great Britain all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, from Wakefield, Ray Steele. So Big Pat Roach from Birmingham, six foot five inches, 19, 18 stone 12, gone down a stone since we had him on uh, about a year ago. This is his top weight. He's trained right down to it. And a mere 15 stone 12, three stone less, Ray Steele of Tingley, Yorkshire. Seconds away, round one. Actually, I think uh, the MC said from Wakefield where he now resides, but he was born in Tingley. Six five minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide this winner. And the plain black trunks on the left, the tall fellow with the red hair and beard, is Big Pat Roach from Birmingham. Ray Fine, Roach, left leg to steal, while he still holds the... Steel manages still to hold that double-handed wrist lever. Couldn't force him to lose balance, but it's Roach now that's got the same hold on him. Again, he tries that grapevine, trying a side headlock too, but uh, Roach has still got the double-handed wrist lever. He changes it to an arm lock now. Referee Peter Zakash voice coming in on three times on the one there, but didn't get further than the one. Side headlock, quick one by Steele. The body check by Steele on, on Roach. A very dangerous thing to try, I should say. It's a grin on Steele's face. I think he realizes it now. But the last thing in the world that I would want to do. One, two, three, four. Come off the ropes and body check a man, a giant like Pat Roach. Steal nicely in for that uh, front head chancery. Into the side head chancery. Roach trying to reach for the crotch hole to get the lift and escape from the chancery is in. <laughs> Couple of minutes left in this first round of six. Roach now with the side headlock. Switching it to front head headlock, but he's not quite the grab that he wanted. Steel in first that time with a double wrist lock backhammer position. Nicely. Steel with blonde hair. And a grapevine on the left leg of Roach. Arm lock, same side arm. No. 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 No.
Less than a minute now. Round one. Steele has still got that backhammer on. But he's lost the double wrist lock. No. And you can see that tremendous. Oh, just a little bit late. We'll try and catch it later. And crutch hold, slam, and throw. One, two, three, four. Less than half a minute. Still, still coming back for more. Ten seconds left. Hardly time for another move now. Have a look at Pat Roach. We can see those uh, tattoo marks on his upper arms there, just by the below the shoulder. It's a quite interesting story there because they're not genuine tattoos at all. He, at the moment, is taking part in a, 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 a series for TV series for Central Television called uh, Auf Wiedersehen Pet, where he plays a quiet country boy, believe it or not, and those tattoos are for that part. Seconds away, round two. Round two, five to go. No score. Bridge by steel. I think Roach is heavy enough to break it. 18 stone 12. Still with a double finger in a lock. And the bridge not broken. Steel's feet way underneath him. Perfect balance and forces. Roach back in the same position. Roach trying to turn that full Japanese strong hold and turn the tables and get it on steel. Halfway there. Oh, steel still wins it. Nice work. A strong fellow, this Ray Steel. To be able to do that to a giant like this. Roach trying the same move again. Can he turn the tables? <laughs> Steele's done it again. Roach goes back now, but finally he's got it. Finally there, the table's turned. He has to go down into a bridge to do it. Steele, having resisted it for so long, is now in the same problem. There's an awful lot of strength hold stuff going on here, and steel now going on with the bridge. Two minutes left in the second. Oh, yes. That right knee came up to perfection there by Steele. And a little groggy now, Roach. 
exactly where I've actually hit him. I don't know, but the knee caught him around the jaw somewhere. Must have to have that effect. Steal with the side head chancery. And further uppercut. Oh, yes. Certainly developing to a very, very even heavyweight contest here, nicely by Roach. <coughs> the way he fell and grabbed that arm at the same time, Steele's left arm, right foot, left arm, and now he's got the figure four as well. And now he's going to try the side surfboard, if he can lean his man back. He thought about it, he's thinking about it again. There it is, all the way back, backbreaker. And 30 seconds, Steele's got to either take this or get out of it. He can submit any time he likes, but no, he's got one hand free, so he won't now. Cross press, Steele in charge. <laughs> the height that Roach threw him up there. It's about 18 inches in the air, I'm sure. Right on the bell now, round two. I always thought that Ray Steele was one of the most underrated heavyweight wrestlers we have in this country. He never fails to put on a magnificent show at, uh, against bigger men so often as he is doing here this afternoon so far. Good looking fellow from Ting Lee, now living in Wakefield. I was struggling to pay off all my credit cards. I'd been refused a loan three times, even though I own my own home. I was quite desperate as I couldn't see any easy solution. That's when I called First Class Mortgages. They were very understanding of my situation, helped me to manage all my debts and lower my overall monthly outgoings. Next time I'll call them first. We wanted a conservatory, but we didn't want to move. We couldn't get a loan because of our age. I called First Class Mortgages, who made everything very straightforward and comprehensible. They came up with a remortgage that worked well for us. And now we have our lovely conservatory. We work hard for homeowners, finding a financial solution where other companies may not be able to help. We are quick to respond, no forms to fill in, and we give simple, clear advice whatever your needs. Everyone is treated individually. First Class Mortgages. Free call 0800 107 2233. Here on PriceDrop.tv, where the price on this Black & Decker drill has dropped from £129 to 58 quid, less than half price. Price lock. It's all over, and everyone pays the lowest price of £58. Next to Maurice Lacroix watch. OK, everyone, back in 30 seconds. The price is dropping over on Channel 636, and it'll keep dropping until everything is sold. So if you want to save money on homeware, jewellery, electricals and more... 10 seconds. Isn't it time you dropped in? Pricedrop.tv. How low will it go? Drop in and shop on channel 636. You get irritated at work and when we go out. Why? It's not you, it's me. You even got rough with me last night. Just cool down. What? Rapidly cools your skin, soothes and prevents shaving irritation. Post-shave cooling balm. Keep face care simple.
runs away. Round three. Round three, no score, four rounds to go, two falls. Two submissions or a knockout to decide this winner, Pat Roach. The giant from Birmingham with a beard there. The black trumps on the right versus Ray Steele. We're going to have a few more strength holds before this bout's through. Reverse side head. Roach, nice work. Roach is all so often does, takes it on his arm. Not too happy with that landing though. Not tall enough for that steel. The backbreaker over the shoulder. Body check and it's the Pat Roach left arm that's worrying him since that drop just now. Steele wants to get on with it. He's got to get on with that left arm because that's when he's injured perfectly legitimately. And he's going for a submission here. A great find on the left arm lever. Still, there's no intention of letting go till he's absolutely sure he can't get a submission from this. No! Into a backhammer. Oh, Roach oh, reaching up for Steele's neck. Anything to relieve the pain of this left arm. In the back elbow. It's the back elbow, but not strong enough. It's the forearm in all right, though. And now he's clear. Still goes for the body check. Left shoulder forwards. And nice up the cut from Steele. Big Pat not having it all his own way here this afternoon by any means. Still putting up a magnificent job. Five, six, seven. The body check. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a steal, a knee drop. But following down too late, unfortunately, hasn't got enough room. He's through the ropes. Break cold. Pat Roach, who used to be a boxer, of course, a renown, and now shaping up rather like a boxer there with his fist clenched. And it's again, Steele sees his chance to go for that weakened left arm in a backhammer position. Two minutes to go. Roach in the bridge. He's trying to get out. Oh, no, no difficulty. No difficulty at all. Right <laughs> across his face. Shows how easy that was. And it's a great fight. Opposite arm lever to steal. Nice move. Double arm now, Steele. But he's lost the grapevine, so. Just a minute to go. And the third. Roach so nearly turned him, but not quite. But the left arm injury must be a bit of a handicap now. Just half a minute to go. And good applause for a nice get out there and a release directly the ropes came into contact. Ooh. Inside of the forearm. No one near a punch. Perfectly legal. Tremendous, vicious uppercut forearm of Roaches. Just five seconds to go and a cross press to steal. And gets a counter two, but not quite enough.
and still trying to lift it, but he's decided not to any further. <laughs> Tells Roach to get up by himself. All 18 stone, 12 of them. There you can see the hole in his shoulder. If you're going to turn around this way, had an operation on that arm several years ago, and at some point you'll be able to see that very nasty scar on his shoulder. Seconds away, round four. Round four, halfway through the bout, three rounds to go and no score. Roach versus Steele. Roach deciding Four. to use uh, Five. a few more Six. forearm smashes Seven. and knees at the moment. Uh, this, uh, One, body checks as well two, to try and get that weight Five. advantage working Six. for him. Uh, One, two, three. All right, stand back. Stand back, back come on. All right, Roach. Peter Zakash, the former welterweight Hungary, from Hungary, telling him, no, no more, don't resist the temptation of following up another. And he did. Right, he's still off. Whoa. Still falling towards him. But still, that's just, oh, unless he's really taking it now. Meantime, of course, Roach takes a breather. That stopped him. Yes, Steel timed that pretty well. came straight off the ropes into that foot. Good move, so the foot. Steel up at eight, just in time to go into another. And another knee drop as well. The back hits the right knee of Roach as he lands it man down. And there's the, oh, the follow up a little bit late, the reverse. Oh, yes, of course, beautiful, no trouble. He'd had his man so weakened. Just two minutes, 30 seconds into round four. And it's Roach gets the first pinfall. And two minutes, 30 seconds of round four. The first fall of the contest goes to Pat Roach. I thought he was chasing that a bit far. He only just about reached that press. Uh, he threw his man a little too far for that, but at least he got away with it. And there, once again, you can see that scar and just in front of his left shoulder there that caused him so much trouble years ago, but now seems to cause him no problem at all. Second away, round five. Two rounds to go with Roach in the black trunks leading Steel one fall to nil. Steele trying to come back with some forearms now, and the knee beautifully. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, miss it, miss it completely, and Steele comes in with a beautiful double arm. Oh, so neat. Oh, he really caught him then. Just 50 seconds into the following round, the equalizing fall to Steele, and beautifully handled. In 50 seconds of round five, we have the equalizing fall goes to the blue corner, Ray Steele. So neat. He ducked the forearm that was coming straight at his jaw. 
linked arms one side and pulled the other arm around to get a double arm of it, pulled his man over, completely unexpected move for Roach, and there was the equaliser with one round to go. Seconds away for the sixth and final round. Roach not quite sure whether to shake hands or not. Yes, good. Don't know why he's suspicious of Steele. Steele's never committed a foul of any kind in his life, as far as I know. Roach still persisting with the forearms. Knocked it up too early, got up too early, and Steele almost had him again. Unawares Four, there. Five, six. Crutch hold steel. The slam doesn't One, bother two, to follow it for some three, reason. Four, oh, I five, don't know why he didn't follow that six, one. Seven, eight, he might never get a better position than that. Flying tackle steel, but caught on the way. Perfect balance by Roach. And the slam by Roach. Stood too close. The forearms really coming in thick and fast now from both men. He tries the same thing still. He's exactly the same way he got his last equalizing fall. But this time Roach is near the ropes and can put his foot over to touch the middle rope and get the break. A little bit lucky. Steele smiling at him as if to say, oh, you are lucky to get away with that one. <laughs> Even Roach knows it too. homeowner who could benefit from an ocean finance loan. Perhaps by reducing your monthly outgoings by consolidating existing debts, home improving or simply treating yourself to whatever you have in mind. Many already have. We consolidated 23 debts. I saw the advert, I saw people who looked like I was in my situation, looked like honest, normal people, not actors. We put the floor in, we knocked some walls down, we put some doors in. <laughs> And what was really nice was when we paid everything off, we had enough money left to go on a family holiday, which was something we hadn't done for a while. It was as though a great weight had been lifted and I had the first good night's sleep in I don't know how many months. Ocean consider all circumstances and rates are competitive. So for that homeowner loan of up to £100,000, call us now on 0800 916 9120 or apply online at oceanfinance.co.uk. Here on PriceDrop.tv, where the price on this Black & Decker drill has dropped from £129 to 58 quid, less than half price. Price lock. It's all over, and everyone pays the lowest price of £58. Next to Boris Lacroix Watch. OK, everyone, back in 30 seconds. The price is dropping over on Channel 636, and it'll keep dropping until everything is sold. So if you want to save money on homeware, jewellery, electricals and more... 10 seconds. Isn't it time you dropped in? Pricedrop.tv. How low will it go? Drop in and shop on channel 636. You get irritated at work and when we go out. Why? It's not you, it's me. You even got rough with me last night. Just cool down. What? Rapidly cools your skin, soothes and prevents shaving irritation. Post-shave cooling balm. Keep face care simple.
just managed to reach that middle rope, or it would have been curtains for Roach then. Oh! And oh, that's a nice one. That's Roach special, that folding press. Still getting his right shoulder blade off at the moment. So many times I've seen uh, Roach succeed with that one. But not today with Steele. Break. Yes, you see. Steele checking for the referee. And the applause of the crowd for a very good sporting move. Roach still not happy about that left arm of his at all. Follow down cross press and trouble for Steele now. Got the left arm off. Left shoulder blade clear. Oh, these forearms from Pat Roach. I hope he doesn't give Sean Connery too many of them. And the picture he's just made with Sean, the new Bond movie, Never Say Never Again. He's, uh, he does the brummage and bump on Sean Connery. I know that. So if he can... Uh, do that on Connery, you might be able to deliver a few of those forearms too. One, two, three, four, five. Less than two minutes to go now in this bout. And Steele going with another double arm, shoulder press. I can't hold it. Steele won't have that crutch hole reached at all. He just. Uh, Roach reaches forward to get the crutch hold on. Steele steps back. Well, that surely was not intentional. Uh, Roach did not intend to. He's man facing that way. That's more Roach. Special suplex, arm suplex of his. Nicely by Steele. He's giving as good as he gets, isn't he? Really good effort here. One minute to go, and it looks very like a draw now. And this one of them can do something really dramatic here. Like a surprise move that uh, caught Roach in the fifth round. Crowd really quiet, but watching intently. See whether there's going to be a result here. 30 seconds to go. The body check by Roach. You've got to admire a man like Steele to stay with Roach for this long. Very, very good effort indeed. Still one fall each. Looks very like a draw with just 12 seconds to go. In fact, Steele might even produce one of his specials. No, too late now. It's got to be a draw. Crutch hold slam to Steele, but he's got to follow down very quick. No, the bell got in his way. And if Steele was going to hold that, he certainly didn't have time to make it. The bell interrupted him. So a one fall each draw and a beautifully fought draw there. Very tough wrestling match indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after a titanic contest, both wrestlers gaining one fall apiece. The referee's decision is a draw. Pat Roach and Ray Steele. And that's it for this week, but don't forget to join us next week for the special tag match between Big Daddy and Kid Chocolate, and of course their opponents, the mighty masked marauders. That should really be something. See you then. <laughs>